Hey y'all, I'm back with another tutorial of part three for the graduation candy apple. Um, so my video did cut off because I had too many videos on my phone, so I had to cut some out. So I went ahead and went and sugarcoated the apple, but I'm gonna show y'all how to do this if you all don't know how to. So once you decide what color you want, sand and sugar you want to put on your apple, you're gonna get that same pot that you did your candy mixture in, fill it up with water, and put it on the stove. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Sorry for all the movement, but you just get your apple, you hold it over the heat, like so, until it gets really moist to it like it's almost like it's sweating the apple is sweating once it gets really moist and you feel that it's been over the steam enough then you come over your bowl come over to your bowl and I already done this but I'm just showing you guys and I'm, ho I, I'm holding my phone so I have to do it this way just come over your bowl and sprinkle wherever it was moist at. And you just will keep doing this until you have coated your whole apple in the sanding sugar. And for me, I have already done so. It does, and the sanding sugar I'm using here is Red Crystals Edible Decor Dollies. Dollies, however you say that. But you can get that from your cake art store, Michael's. Walmart they all sell sand and sugar and then after that you do that all to all of your apples so our next step is decorating the apple so here I kind of started rolling playing around with my fondant here and I just wrapped it up until I was ready to come back on camera with you all so now we're going to create the shawl that goes around your neck for the graduation And I'm using black. So we're doing a red and black apple for me. So you roll out your fondant like so. You get it to the thickness that you want. And you can measure this out for about around the apple. Do different different lengths, but I'm not measuring anything out, but you all can. I'm just going to eyeball it. All right, so this is kind of still thick for me, so that's what I want. Then I'm going to take my rolling pin here. And I'm going to roll a few times and to, uh -oh, to get some extra rolls out of here. I actually wanted a little wider. Let's go a little wider. I might go a little wider, y'all, because this looks too thin. Yeah, I'm not liking none of those strips. We need to go a little wider. Hold on, y'all. I got to switch out some of the... I got to switch it to make it a little wider here. All right, so I switched out my rollers, and I got it to the um, size that I wanted. So let's begin rolling this back out. Okay, that looks good enough for me. 
Take my rolling pin. I'm going to do a few. Uh, no, that's good enough. So I just take my tool here and I'm going to make sure I cut it all the way out. And if you get any rigid edges, be sure to clean your edges back up. Put the extra fondant away. And when I say clean your edges back up, I mean just take your tool and just go on the sides with it and then push it back into the fondant. Because we want to have clean edges. We want to see the rip edges on your work. All right. Now we want to clean up the ends. Sorry, y'all. The baby is all in the background of this. She wasn't. She did not take a good nap today, y'all. We're in teething stage, and I gave her her teething ring. She is not having that thing. She in teething jail. She is not having that thing. So she just gonna have to cry it out till we pass this stage. All right, so here is my shawl. This shawl is exactly five, 5.2 here. Okay, that is not sure. So if you want to see where the length is on your apple, just get your apple, put it around your apple, like so. And it should hang like that. But in the meantime, we're not putting it on there right now because we got to do some other stuff to it. So just set it to the side. And as I got ice and sugar all on my workspace here. Don't want that in my fondant. So just lay that down somewhere. Now let's go ahead and do the cap in black. We're gonna cut out a square. And I don't have a very small square. So what I'm gonna do is improvise. Get it up to like one inch thick. You don't want to have a very thin cap. It's about that much. I'm going to take my square cookie cutter. Okay, so that's about the thickness we want. Now I'm going to take my cookie cutter and we're going to cut out a square. I'm going to cut a few times with this so I can get a perfect square here. Gonna keep cutting until we get a perfect square. Cut off a little bit more here. And notice I'm using the edges of the cookie cutter because I want to get that round shape on my corners. So here is our hat. You don't always have to use a mold for everything. You can create it yourself. Perfectly, a perfect square. 
Okay, so we're gonna set this one to the side. Now we're gonna create our tassel. You can either do the tassel with, uh, I forgot what one of those things that make spaghetti noodles looking. You can use one of those, and I do have one, but I'm going to show y'all for those who don't have one of those things. But as a matter of fact, let me get one so I can show you all what I'm talking about. Here's the tool I'm referring to, a little plunger. You can get this at the Cake Art Store, cakeart.com is where I got mine from. You just get enough of your fondant, stick it in there, I didn't want to really do this, but you stick enough in there to how much you want, put your, this is the tool I'm using that got the holes in it, put that in the back of the other one, close it up. Screw it on. And I really don't like this one because it's hard for me to push through mine. But you just keep pushing. And then it starts putting out those spaghetti noodles. This one is so hard to do. But I'm not going to do my tassel this way. So I'm going to leave that alone. So this thing will aggravate me to the fullest. So we're going to do it in a rope form. Give me that back. Which is the easiest and simplest way. So we're going to take some fine it. Roll it back up. Roll it into a snake form. Actually, that we don't really need that much because this is going to be small. Keep rolling it out. We're going to use the same method as I showed you all when I did the unicorn Oreos. Rolling it out very thin. Thin. Not too thin, but thin. It looks good enough to me. Even it up. And then we're just going to twist it. A tight twist. Twist the wrong way. Twist from the other end. All right. So then you're going to cut off the amount that you need. I'm going to put that it's about right there. And then I just pinch the ends. And roll it up some more. 
I'm going to paint this gold. So, bring this up. This is our tassel so far. All right. You can make this skinnier, skinnier too. But for demonstration purposes, I'm rolling in that way because I have to hurry up because it's almost dinner time. And, you know, I have to get my dinner ready. Now let's make a little button for the top. Let's take off a piece and just roll it into a ball. Sorry if I keep coming in and out of the camera. I'm just trying to make sure my phone didn't dial me. So I'm going to push that down like so a little bit to make a fat, flat button. And there's the top of that. I am going to roll this to be thinner because uh, I'm really not feeling this chunky monkey thing. So I'm just gonna leave it now, but I'm gonna roll that thinner. Now, we made the hat, we made the tassel, we made the button to the hat. The next thing is rolling up the other portion to the hat, which is the part that goes to your head. So you just take a, a chunk, a ball like this, roll it really good, and then now we're gonna square it off with your fingers the pointers and your thumb. And then push with your thumb in the middle of it. Then you want to take your hat and size it to it. So it should look like this. If you all can see that, hopefully. You can also make it bigger if you want. So let's do a bigger one. Okay, that's the bigger one. This in your fingers, rounding it. Making sharp edges. Then we're going to push in the middle with your thumb. As you're pushing in the middle lightly with your thumb, you're rotating it between your with your thumb and your pointer on your left hand. Right hand is pushing down. And then you're squeezing it to form perfect sides. All right. So that's your hat. That's your hat so far. So to put this on the apple, you're going to take the bottom of this and stick it through with your, at the top of your candy apple stick. So it's going to slide down there. If you want, put a little incision there and use the ball pin or whatever you have. To kind of widen that up for you as you're pushing through. And now I can put that on there. So
Same thing with the hat is what I'm going to do. Put a little water to as well so the hat can adhere to that, to the top hat. Do the same thing, make it a point, take your ball pin, make a hole insertion, pull out, and drop your head in. Remember you want to, um, I'm, again, demonstration purposes, you want to let your hat and stuff firm up. If you're only using fondant only. But in this case, if you make the fondant thick enough, it should hold. So I'm not having any issues with it falling. All right. So next is the tassel we're going to bring around. You just bring this around your apple, whichever one is the view you want to do you can make actually make this a little longer but mine's is short adhere it with a little water so it will stick to the back of the hat now because these two sides are supposed to hang the same length You can also add a little decoration to your tassel. I mean, I'm sorry, to your um, to your shawl. And to do that, you just take some extra piece of strips of a different color, which I'm going to use red here. Let me get this red all warmed up to room temperature because it's been in the bag. Now we got our red fondant up to room temperature. So now we're going to roll it out and get some small lines out of it. Don't have to be so thin. And I'm going to take my rolling pin. Still have some of the black pieces on here. Don't want that rolling into this. Ugh, Jesus Christ. We're going to improvise. I think I rolled into the sink. See if I can cut some straight lines here. Cut it down a little bit more.
Remember, clean up your edges. Now we just need a small strip. Clean up your edges. You're going to put strips on the end of the shawl. And please correct me if I'm saying the wrong name, y'all. I might be saying the wrong name. And I might. probably am. Make sure we get the same size. Put the other one back on top of the other one. I hear this with water, you guys. I could have also made these strips a little longer so that way it would have came all the way to the edge. Okay, it's a tassel. I can also put numbers on here, 2018, but you can do that as well if you want. Just get creative with it. It's, this is very easy to do. I just gave y'all a gist of it, how to do it. You can put 2018 over there. And there you have it. Your capping gown. Candy apple. There's different ways to do this, but I just show the really quick, easy way to do this apple. And again, these lines could be a little bit longer to reach the end of the shawl. Um... This shawl could be a little bit longer to drape here. And I did not put my tassel back on, but we were supposed to roll that out thinner. And I was going to make that go. But at this point, I don't need to do that. But you all get the point. So if you have any questions or comments about this video, please put your comments questions down below and I'll be sure to answer them. If you're new to my channel here, please hit that subscribe button so you don't never miss an upload from me. If you're old to my channel, thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. And this is your finished product.